everyone, and welcome to Christ the King Parish. My name is Phyllis Gernett, and Susan and I will be leading the music tonight. Today we celebrate the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We welcome you, and we thank you for being here with us. Or from your place at home, please stand as we sing our opening song, Christ Be Our Light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with you, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Father. Today, I'd like to welcome all of you to this beautiful celebration, especially I'd like to welcome my guests from Fremont. They are here with us over there, so they come to visit. Welcome them to our celebration this afternoon. It's almost one month now serving here at St. Stephen and Christ the King, so I really feel blessed to serve you good people of God. And also this is my first homily to share with you on this 19th Sunday in ordinary time. And to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you are Lord and the Holy One, you are Lord of the Lord, you are Lord and the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts, the spirit of adoption of your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. 
At the mountain of Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountain and crushing the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When Elijah heard this, he hid his face, he hid his face in his cloak, and went and stood at the entrance to the cave. The word of the Lord. Thanks. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites. Theirs is the adoption the glory, the covenant, the giving of the law, 
the worship and the promises. There's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all. God bless forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. <coughs> Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me! Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. What the scriptures help us to see today is the way that God makes his presence known to us so that we are constantly renewed and increased. So today we can imagine Elijah and Peter would have something to say to us. Here we are, experiencing the storm of this global pandemic that has caused a deep dis disruption in our lives. And amidst destruction, disruption and disorientation, Jesus says, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid, come. When we try to imagine God and his infinite power and glory, we imagine something akin to a Hollywood spectacular. But we discover in today's first reading that when the prophet Elijah stood outside his cave to behold the Lord passing by. He may have been expecting some great show of God's power and might. And indeed, Elijah witnessed a storm so powerful it split the rocks. Elijah beheld the, the earth quaking. Elijah then beheld Molten rock pouring down the mountain. Surely, the Almighty God must be in one of these powerful manifestations. But no, 
God is not present in any of them. How often we too, my dear brothers and sisters, ex accept God to be or to do what our imagination conjure up. And we feel disappointed or let down when things don't go the way we expect. After all, the great fireworks of nature, Elijah heard a tiny whispering sound. Now God was revealing himself, and Elijah in awe and reverence his face. He hid his face in his, his cloak. My dear brothers and sisters, today all of us bow our heads in the presence of our loving and gentle God. Paul today helps us to see how much our heart should love and long for the good and salvation of all our brothers and sisters. Paul leaves us in no doubt of the importance of salvation and the power of true charity. Paul declares, For I could wish that I myself were accused and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred, according to the flesh. This is a most powerful statement. This word echo the action of Jesus who became one of us and died and rose from the dead for each and every one of us. The God of the gentle breeze on Mount Sinai fans love of great passion indeed. Let it fan our heart as we behold our brothers and sisters scattered around the globe. We see that same gentleness in Jesus as he approached the storm-tossed boat on the water of Galilee. Do not be afraid. It is I. Come. How many times Jesus uttered these words? How often have we forgotten them? We men of little faith. Jesus is always with us in storms and in the calm moment of life. Jesus never leaves us. We may try and run away from him, but the love and mercy of Jesus is far greater, is far stronger than even the love that Paul shows us in today's second reading. Today we can call or we can all stand with Elijah at the opening of the cave, cover our face, and silently and gratefully worship our God. Let all of us continue standing in the tension and listen to the whisper of God's voice amidst whatever dark spirit work to disrupt or destroy us. Let us step out of what feel comfortable, even in the face of fear, and step forward or step toward the Savior. Let us truly listen and respond to Jesus' command. Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. We will come through this, my dear friends, but we must also stop panicking and be prayerful and sensible. Let this be the week that we and Jesus calm the waves together and do the right thing. And now we will celebrate Mass in faith and loving trust. Amen. And for our Apostle Creed, please respond to the question by saying, I believe. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I, I believe. believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, and rose from the dead, 
and is now seated at the right hand of the Father, I believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I believe. Loving God, in hope and trust, we turn to you in prayer now. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For our church, that we may find ways to reach out to those who feel lost, abandoned, or neglected. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For our parish communities, that our faith may be strengthened, that we may be protected from COVID-19, and that God would guide all our endeavors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the victims of massive, the massive explosion in Lebanon. For the dead, the wounded, and their families. That the international community may respond in ways needed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the displaced people of the world, especially for those being turned away at our borders, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For the many migrants who have been lost at sea, and for all who have died tragically, we also pray for Christopher Samuels, whose funeral was on Friday. Leonardo Chalura, Patricia Arieta, and Lois Madarius, whose funerals will be on Monday. John Mullane Jr., whose funeral will be on Tuesday. Gert Christensen, whose funeral will be on Saturday. At all of our Masses this weekend, we are also praying for the repose of the souls of the following from, Saint, uh, from Christ the King. For Ninita Lim, Ray and Sam Yorfita, Catherine Wise, Tita Quintas, Ed Rea, Marion Sweeney, Ignacio Aquino, Rob Call, Lucy Garcia, and Violetta Adorable. And we also pray for the repose of the soul of Madeline Jones from the St. Stephen's community. For these and for all the deceased, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We Lord. pray for healing this weekend for Roger Van Maren and Olivia Adair. For them and for all the sick, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. hear our prayers. And for the intentions of Keith Ferreira and the St. Stephen's and Christ the King parishioners, and for the intentions that we all hold in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving God, may we be filled with the power of your Spirit of, to lead and guide us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
God's goodness and His life to offer to the divine with a human hand. To become for us spiritual being, just to be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the law of the Holy Spirit. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mercy of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is you right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered, afar by sin through the body of your, your son and the power of the spirit you gathered them again to yourself that a people formed as one by the unity of the trinity made the body of christ and the temple of the holy spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church and so in company with the choir of angels we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth full your glory, host and I the highest. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord, host and I the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church straight throughout the world, and bring her to the full of charity, together with friends our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember those for whom this Mass is offered. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We now gather as God family. We pray together as our Lord Jesus taught us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace we grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but we say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
And for those who are at home, I'd like to invite you to pray act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And also before going to final blessing, I want to say thank you for your presence today. As we knew now that we come Sunday after Sunday to celebrate the Eucharist together and to meet each other is a good time for us. I hope you have a wonderful day and keep yourself safe and well. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God.